In today's tutorial, I'll be going over how to set up a voice recognition module with the Raspberry Pi. So before I get started, I just want to mention that uh, all the information necessary to get this up and working will be listed on my website, which is listed in the description below. Um, this should work for all versions of the Raspberry Pi, and we will be using a USB to TTL converter. Uh, this will be a condensed tutorial. I won't be really covering how to set up recording the voice, but there are plenty of videos already on YouTube that I'll link. With all that said and done, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, as you can see here, these are all the parts that you'll need. Uh, the microphone, the converter, the voice recognition module, and these generic jumper cables all come in a kit. Uh, you're going to need four of them. It comes with five, but we don't need uh, the fifth one. If you're trying to follow along the video how to wire this up, there's a schematic posted on my website. It should make it easier to follow along. So let's go ahead and put everything together. So the first thing you need to do is take one of these cables here and if you flip it over, uh, hook it up to the five volt that goes to VCC. have RX on this side and this gets crossed to the TX on this same thing with the RX on this side so RX to TX Finally, we have ground, so ground to ground. Ground to ground. Okay, and then just take your microphone here and hook it up to this headphone jack. And then finally, um, any available USB port on the Pi, go ahead and plug it in. And that completes our physical setup. Um, now I'm going to go over how to set up your Raspberry Pi. This would be a good time to breeze through some of those Arduino tutorials to see how to record your commands on the device as this is somewhat of a uh, fairly involved process. But let's go ahead and head over to the computer now. So I SSH into my Raspberry Pi. So the first thing that we need to do is just run sudo app get update to make sure everything's up to date. Okay, so now that that's done, we need to enable our serial interface. So we need to type sudo raspy dash config head over to interfacing options and make sure the serial is enabled so the first prompt we want to say no and then the second prompt should be yes and that should be it as far as getting the serial interface set up I am using the Raspberry Pi 3 I'm not sure if it differs for the different uh, versions of the Pi. Um, but as far as we're concerned, this should be good to go. Um, you might have to reboot. Now that you've restarted your Raspberry Pi, um, we're pretty close to running the script. I'm just making the assumption right now that you've already run through the voice command recording process for the voice module. So now we need to um, make some minor changes to the code. So right now I'm going to go and walk through the Python script. Okay, so here's the Python script. Um, it's fairly straightforward. So on lines one and two, 
I'm importing um, the time and serial libraries and then I have these six functions here the first function is just an empty function it doesn't really do anything but um, here are the five different functions that should each have their own different payloads and then in main is is down here is where most of the core logic starts so right here on line 32 I have this dictionary which is just a mapping of the integers and the name of these different functions here so for example when 17 uh, the key 17 uh, should return 1 and all these different corresponding function names so on line 34 to 43 is where we're initializing the serial interface so as you can see here um, this slash dev slash tty usb 0 this is the USB port if you were using the GPIO pins you would need to change this and these are I think default you don't really want to change these settings on lines 45 through 51 uh, I'm running a loop to essentially force the voice recogni recognition module into a certain mode uh, this is in their documentation so for example this line here 47 we are sending these bytes to put it into the waiting state and then you know th these bytes here uh, we were sending to import group one which is our first group of the five different words we've recorded and it then goes into a state to wait voice input so if you recorded um, you know, additional groups, you would need to uh, put them here as well. The reason why I'm running this twice is I'm, I really want to make sure that it's in the correct mode. Uh, it's, a little bit of, it's a little bit overkill. I think you'll be fine running it once, but I just do that just to make sure. And then right here is our infinite loop. So what happens is um, it's just constantly reading input so it reads one byte of uh, the serial input and then it converts that value to an integer I just do that because it's a little bit easier to work with and, and then I just print the value uh, just so you can see and then right here um, based on the integer value it'll you know call a specific function so right here I'm I'm using message dispatching. You can use the if statement as well, it's fine. Um, but for example, I'll just run through the workflow. So if I don't say anything, um, this integer value that it would read would be zero. So zero would call empty, and empty is just like a null function, and it just passes. But if I were to say, if my keyword was picked up and the integer value was 17, for example, that would evaluate to the one function right here so just print 17 so this is where you define whatever uh, logic you want for any specific command so yeah that's pretty much it uh, it's fairly straightforward so let's get back to the terminal and go ahead and run the script so we're gonna go ahead and type python 3 voice.py and as you can see it's just looping through waiting for input and since I haven't sent anything or any voice command it's outputting zero but for example if I were to um, say some of the commands we should see some output so let's go ahead and try it out five five four 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 three um, yeah as you can see uh, the accuracy depends on some of the words that you pick for the commands sometimes it has trouble picking them up so that's something to keep in mind 
but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial that sort of concludes everything for today if you have any questions leave a comment down below I'll try and get to it um, like and subscribe and stay tuned for some upcoming content alright guys peace